What's going on mechanics? Today what we're going to do is a little Valentine's Day special. You know what I'm saying? If you want to make something for your significant other, I got your back today. We're going to do some nice, creamy, you know, like ooey gooey, some good stuff. We got uh, some vegan cauliflower steaks going on. Some garlicky mashed potatoes with some asparagus. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hook it up. It's going to be really good, really delicious. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new here, slap that subscribe button and tighten your seatbelt on because we're about to take off. Alright, first we're going to start off with the mashed potatoes. So I take the red potatoes and I just cut them in the cubes or like fours, fourths. You get what I mean. You just cut it down so don't sweat the technique. Just, just get the cutting. It doesn't have to be perfect. But from here, we're just going to add that to a, a bowl of, I mean, I'm sorry, a pot of hot water. And you want to boil that water. So what that's going to do is soften the potatoes. So, I'm sorry it's so long and drawn out watching me cut these potatoes, but yeah, that's what you got to do right here. There you go. Just add the potatoes to the water and you let that cook for about 30 minutes or 20 minutes or so. Uh, just until the potatoes are soft. After they're soft, you remove them from the hot water. You get your potato masher, mash the potatoes down. And then after you mash them, you're gonna add them back to the pot, of course with the water gone. So the only thing you're gonna add to the water is, I'm sorry, to the pot is the mashed up potatoes, about a cup and a half of unsweetened almond milk or any non-dairy milk of your choice. And then I'll show you my seasoning selection in the comment section below. I pretty much freehand everything, but I have a general idea of how much seasoning I actually added to it. So don't sweat it. I got your back here. I'll tell you though, these mashed potatoes were very, very delicious. And I didn't even add any garlic because I had no cloves of garlic. I just used garlic powder. Mmm, you see that? So depending on the consistency of your mashed potatoes you're going to want to either add some milk or you're just going to let the milk cook out of it i like mine uh, a little hearty and i don't mash my potatoes completely because i like to have a few chunks of the mashed potatoes in there i know it might seem like i'm adding a bunch of seasoning but i'm really not that's my pink himalayan sea salt right there Next is my asparagus. All I did with the asparagus at this point was I added my coconut oil blend. It's like a butter spread uh, to the asparagus. And then I'll also add my seasoning mix on top of that. And then I put this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes to get nice and soft. Uncovered, of course. I know it's not the most appealing on the eyes in this position, but I tell you what, when that butter melts down, it's going to create this awesome flavor that's going to overtake everything. This is what it looks like removed from the oven. I did pan sear it a little bit to get a nice little char. But that's about it. Next, we're making the batter for the cauliflower steaks. 
I use about two cups, I'm sorry, one cup of unbleached flour. And then I'm adding my seasoning to the flour mixture. I will link the seasonings below. Then I also add about a cup and a half of non-dairy milk to the seasoning mixture. I know once again, it looks like there's a lot of uh, seasoning going on, but trust me, it's not gonna be over seasoned because of the batter being thinned out. So here you just want to mix your batter. You want your batter to be a little bit lighter than the pancake consistency. Because all the batter's there for is to help the flour stick onto the uh, cauliflower steaks. So if it's not thin enough, just add a bit more non-dairy milk, unsweetened of course, and then that will do the trick for you. Next you wanna have, uh, if you have another bowl or bag available, just have a bag with the same flour, uh, all-purpose flour in there unbleached. So you just take your cauliflower, dip your cauliflower in the flour. I'm sorry, that's like a little tongue twister. And then you put that into a pan of hot oil. Use your oil of choice. Uh, for the video, I use grapeseed oil. That's what it's gonna look like. About four or five minutes aside on a medium high heat. You just want it to cook nice and well through so it can be nice and soft on the inside. And there you have that part. Now we're gonna make the gravy that goes on top of it. Here, it's supposed to be about a quarter cup of flour. I think I want a bit over. So my roux is gonna be a little thicker than I normally like, but I don't like I don't really measure what I'm cooking for myself. So that's what it looks like. So you just wanna add that up on a medium heat. So you just wanna mix it into all the flour and oil that is incorporated together. And it's one big happy family. When you get to this part, you wanna add about a cup and a half of non-dairy milk to two cups. Uh, you just mix that around and you add your seasonings also like I said before I will link the seasonings below you just keep on stirring it until it gets nice and thick you want to work all the clumps out from the roux so the roux can be nice and smooth the purpose of the roux is to thicken up the uh, gravy From there, you're all done. Just keep staring it until it's nice and thick to the consistency that you like. And then from there, you just pour that bad boy right over top of your cauliflower steak and enjoy your nice, delicious meal. Stick around to see me and my wife enjoy this lovely Valentine's Day dinner meal.
What's going on guys? So we're gonna do a mukbang. I know it's a little different, you know, haven't done with the wife in quite a while, but we're gonna see if this food really is good. We're gonna have our Valentine's Day dinner a day early. So, I'm gonna get right into it. I don't know. You wanna say anything, baby? No, I mean, hey, I miss y'all. She says she not sure if it tastes good. That's what she told me. It looks amazing. But I'm I'm completely open to trying it, so I mean that's that's a good thing. It's right? good. My gravy needs just a little bit more salt. But it's good. Grab it some salt. Mmm. I like the gravy. Hold on. <laughs> she said I like the gravy. That's actually pretty good. Babe. Thank you. I Are like you the faking or what? Do I? Do I fake it? How mm -hmm. about you? I don't fake. You be like. <laughs> Whoa! That's amazing, guys! <laughs> I don't. I never tasted something like that before in my life. Oh, get up on them potatoes. They're not mine, but... <laughs> no, this is really good, though. Those are really good, too. The asparagus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, you did good. You see that? You see that? I was gonna have to hurt your feelings because I'm not in the mood for no bad food. <laughs> the baby is not having it. My baby is 30 weeks. Or well, 31. Uh, don't be telling everybody my business. It's our business. It's my business. You ain't the one carrying this bad boy. Look. Look. She's right. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> you didn't get something to drink? Nah, I don't need none. I got good food. Okay. So good. Perfectly seasoned. Look, I'm starting to feel myself. Are you being for real or not? So when do I lie? She don't lie about the food, so that means it's good. So, y'all better make sure that y'all try this yourselves. Mm. Oh, you showed me the recipe? Yeah. Yeah, definitely make it. I showed the recipe, this part is the mukbang. See, mm. she's not really sure what I'm doing. So, for everybody that wants to do like a, um, Valentine's Day, you know, dinner. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not vegan and you just want to try something else out, like do this. You know, it's nice and sweet for your for your significant other. Like oh I said, oh my gosh, did you cut into this and let them see that inside? That looks amazing. Sorry, look, that's the inside. If you can see it, you probably can't see that. I'm sorry, but it looks like you know what it looks like, like a real nice piece of like flaky fish. Oh, okay. But I can see that. Tastes amazing. Tastes so good. This is 100% whole food, plant based. For you guys that don't want any fake meats or anything. Me. She doesn't do any fake meats, fake cheeses. I'm sure. in love. Which what? This evergreen. For real? I don't even know what made me come up with this. The asparagus are seasoned so well. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not saying you can't cook, but it's probably the best thing you ever made. <laughs> so the middle part of the group, just like you know it, you can it's still edible. You letting who know? Don't play with me. <laughs> you been in the kitchen. <laughs> you got me spitting my food out. You been in the kitchen. Ah, right, you you normally you do cook. I cook more than anybody this. in this dang house. You've been doing this, but don't come at me like I don't. Come on. So do you like the potatoes with the skins on or not? Or? I don't know how to eat them. Am I supposed to eat them with the skins or not? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, because I, I don't know how to eat food. You get too smart. Mmm. I love the crunch. But yeah, this is um, this is pretty good, pretty easy to make. Skill level to make this is like negative five. Like it don't take any skill. I couldn't make this. Yeah, you can. I, mean, I couldn't do that. What do you well, mean? Well, maybe once I see how you did it, but I would have, like, if I was like, oh, I want to try something new, I would have no idea how to make the cauliflower steak. I just, look, I just go around in the kitchen, I play with some flavors, and I just, boom, make it happen. That's all I do. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. <laughs> I'm not paying you no mind. I know you don't. What am I? If 
You eat Dad, too slow. Dad, I was about to say you eat too fast. Nah, you eat too slow. I'm sorry that I chew my food. So, which one is it? Does she eat too slow or do I eat too fast? I like to savor my food, savor the flavors, enjoy it as I go. You eat just to hurry up and get full real quick. You gotta enjoy this. I try, I try to get it down. Especially because I'm sitting here actually enjoying mm. and savoring something that he made. I ain't gonna say it like that. Listen. His food, honestly, is the only vegan food that I am happy to eat all the time. Mac and cheese. What else was I saying yesterday? I was just telling you. Um, I can't remember everything. Crab cake, the crab cake. Oh yeah. This, the cauliflower bites. I'm more than happy to eat this. I keep hearing my vegan crab cake is really good. I don't know. I've been trying, like, it's funny, like, I try other vegan food after making my own creation, and I like mine better. And I'm just like, man, I can cook. He's on the verge of opening up a restaurant or something, y'all. No, I'm not. Yes, he is. No, I am not. I can see it now. Listen, I'm a full-time mechanic, and I like what I do. I don't like who I do it for, okay. but I like what I do. So the middle part, yeah, I'm gonna just let that go ahead and do it. Yeah, I kind of feel like eating around where the, um, you know, where it's nice and crispy at, and then I get some of the inside. Mm -hmm. Look, she over there playing and being all dainty and stuff. Yeah, I know how I get down. There's no holes barred. That's because you don't eat to enjoy. I do. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it when I smelled it going that's into my mouth. That's why you don't, um, that's why you don't swallow your noodles. I mean, you don't chew your noodles. Yeah, I do. A lot of people actually don't. She can y'all, can y'all do me a favor? Comment if uh -huh. you, I'm so going to eat it. <laughs> I'll say what's fine. I don't know. If you, when you eat ramen noodles. Chew your damn food. Mind your damn business. When y'all eat ramen noodles, do you chew and then swallow or do you just put it in your mouth and swallow? When you put it in your mouth and just swallow it, you're just eating to get full real quick. You're not eating to enjoy the food. Oh, also guys, pro tip, right? If you guys are making this uh, recipe, some of the cauliflower will start to break off into small pieces. So what I did with that extra small pieces is I just went ahead and made like a, a uh, I don't know, it's like a barbecue buffalo type sauce. It's a little spicy. I just mixed uh, barbecue sauce and a little sriracha, just a tiny bit of sriracha to uh, make like a fake Korean barbecue or something. I don't know. Like, I just mixed it up with the extra. That's one of those. She gonna get after that. She look. See, listen. Let me tell y'all something about her, right? So if the food's not good, she's not gonna eat it. She's not gonna fake for no camera ever. Ever. And the way she's actually like going through the food, I can tell she's enjoying it. Actually, Maybe not the asparagus, because it's still sitting there. Why are you saying that? I don't know. Okay, first of all, I think that the asparagus, if I'm being honest, is the best thing on the plate. It is. I have three. Where's the, like, I ate about two. I got three <laughs> left. You don't give a grown ass woman, who loves asparagus, five pieces of asparagus? <laughs> I'm trying to savor it. I'm okay. sorry that I'm not wolfing it down. Mind your business. All right. Anyway, back to the lovely subscribers here. I'm not worried about you. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe. You want to see more recipes plus most mukbang at the end? Go ahead and let us know in the really comments. Try, did you try one though? Yeah. I was eating them while I was cooking the other food. Because I was starving. Listen, it's like 8 o'clock here. And I got off at 5. So it was like 3 hours after. You know, I stay up late and do this for you guys. Because I didn't even get to edit. Of course, we're, we're sitting here talking. I got to edit this video after that. And I got to get it up by Valentine's Day. I don't know if y'all heard what her smart mouth said. She just told me to shut up. I would deny it, but I meant it. <laughs> so honestly, we're gonna wrap this up. So like, just tell the people. 
anything that can be different, how you feel no, about it. No, 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 no. And you know I'll tell you if anything yeah. can be different. I always do. I I have zero faith in his mashed potatoes. <laughs> She don't like my mashed potatoes. I don't even know how I figured it out, but I literally like, let me tell you something. I watch a lot of cooking shows, but here's the thing. None of them are um, vegan cooking shows. They're actually non-vegan cooking shows because the people that I want to help are the people that are, are transitioning, if you get what I mean. So it's like, I want to be able to recreate those flavors without any of the animal products. I just want to learn how to veganize just about anything. Yeah. So that's what I did here. It's like I feel people don't really miss the flesh. They miss the the flavor and the you know what it does to your mouth. Just that explosion. Like, oh, these are some bomb flavors. That's exactly what I missed. So that's what I went for. You know what I mean? I just was like, let me try to nail some really bomb flavors that you know kind of go well together and look appealing to the eye. And boom, boom. I just checked off all the boxes and. We have a pretty silent meal that we can throw in our rotation for now. Oh, you gonna throw this in a rotation? Yeah. She also likes my vegan mac and cheese, but I don't ever really make it that much. You made it a lot for the kids, but it's gone by the time I get to it. <laughs> they love it. I make, see, it's like, when I do like uh, pop-ups and events and stuff, I make like probably four or five trays, like big trays of it. So by the time I finish making that much mac and cheese, I'm just tired of looking at mac and cheese until the next time I have to make it for an event. Because it's like so much. This by the way, I got an event coming up on Sunday, February 17th at the Gallery About Nothing in Baltimore. Tom, hmm? the barbecue mixture that you made with the sriracha, it goes really well with the mashed potatoes. Really? You just try it with the mashed potatoes. I'm full, baby. I'm not, I'm just full. I'm starting to pay for it, that's all. But anyway, we're gonna wrap this thing right on up. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button. If not, subscribe now. Turn that red button to a gray button. Tap that bell. Don't forget to eat grass, not ass. What do you guys say, babe? Nothing. See you on the next video or anything? I, like will, I surely hope to see y'all in the next video.